Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man. And as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. I've been getting recently uh, from some of my subscribers and I appreciate it. They said, man, uh, I really like what you're doing your channel and, your, and the bundles that you sell are just incredible as far as, you know, all these songs you teach us for so little money. So when are you coming out with a new DVD bundle? And uh, I guess the answer to that is today. This is DVD number, DVD bundle number 30. I call it the Soul Collection. And it consists of 11 songs, which is for you guys only $22 to download. That's twenty. That's $2 a song. If for some reason the, the list I'm about to give you said, you know what, Morse Man? They great selections. I just need two. You can have just two. You can have one. Maybe three, three dollars a piece. And you can send uh, them the funds to my PayPal and I'll send you the download immediately. Before I give you the list, I'm going to say this. Every single song that's on this collection, every single song has been pulled off for professional sheet music. I didn't tab any of this, even though I could have tabbed most of this, but I went to the professional sheet music uh, website where us professional musicians get our music as opposed to uh, going on the internet and finding some dude supposedly in his dorm room tabbing this stuff and it's in a different key of the song, which is some nonsense. And each of these normally, well, I'm not going to go into how much it costs me to pull it down, but I'm just going to I'm going to give you the list. And there are two in here that are not quote unquote soul collection, but well, actually one, this one, one of the two that I'm about to mention is soulful and the second one isn't. But the reason why I put these two in here, because as a good musician, you're able to play just about any style. And when you're able to play any, just about any style, you recognize the different format of each style. Because each style of music have a different format as far as structure and as far as the chords that they use and the chords that they don't. So I try to sometimes put in one that's kind of not in the category so you be able to play rock music, be able to play pop music, be able to play soul music, be able to play jazz, you know. So here's the list. Chicago Big Gamings, beautiful soulful song. This came in, I think, in 1969. And one reason why I, I picked this song and the rest of the songs is on the list. None of these are two chord songs, okay? None of these are just major minor seven chords rocking back four. All of these are well structured songs because you want to be able to play well structured, well arranged songs. Not just the stuff you hear on the radio, you just got two chords for six minutes, which makes you a much better musician. So that's why I handpicked these because uh, none of these are two chord songs. And someone got some really nice uh, chord, uh, ch chords in them that I give you the finger diagram for a few of them because the inversions that I'm playing, you wouldn't be able to figure it out. So I give you all of that. Everything that's in these song lessons are there. You don't have to go on the internet and, and pull down, you know, exotic chords. They're just most of my basic chords with a few jazz chords that have certain inversions and the voices that I use match up with the record well. So here it is. Number one, Chicago Beginnings. Number two, Quincy Jones featuring Patty Austin. Bet You Wouldn't Hurt Me. Beautiful song. And the late Louis Johnson is stomping back in the background on bass. The Gin Blossoms, which is the one out the wind. It's not in this category, but it's a well-written song. And I love them. I, I love their sound. I love their arrangements. I love their songs. And they're not complicated songs. You know, the chord progressions or the chords are not complicated at all. There's a few slash chords, but I teach you how to play those in, in the song. Uh, number four, Gil Scott Heron. We almost lost Detroit. One thing that I, I know I realized about Gil Spock, Scott Heron as I got older, because I mean, when he was out, I was a little guy. Listen to his lyric content. I mean, he's a well politically aware writer, and he talks about things during that time that were very important to talk about. And there were things there were some of these topics were things that most people didn't want to talk about because he mentioned in. One of the songs, this one, uh, Almost Lost Detroit, he mentions Karen Silk. And if, for those who don't know who Karen Silk is, I try to give you a quick history of that. Karen Silk worked at us, I think, some type of power plant or chemical plant. And in the 70s, and she realized that they were doing some illegal shit. And she blew the whistle and she came up mysteriously. She died under mysterious circumstances. A lot of people believe that she was murdered to keep her quiet. 
you know, and uh, and when he mentioned, you know, her in his song, it's like, wow, you know, Gil Scott is deep. Gil Scott Heron is deep. So the second one is, and everybody knows this, young, uh, everybody that grew up in the neighborhood, you know, the brothers, soul brothers and sisters and a lot of white people. They know this song, Gil Scott Heron, The Bottle. I remember hearing that song in the 70s when I was a kid and I understood what it meant. Jill Scott, Golden, beautiful song. Jill Scott has some really nice compositions, and she's a part of the quote unquote Neil Soul crew. And Neil Soul songs are not two chord songs, none of them are. You know, so it's, it's, it's really nice to be able to get these kind of songs under your belt. Okay, Jill Scott, number seven, Hear Me Call beautiful song i mean when you watch the video it almost moves you to tears because in the video she cries at the end i'm like i'm trying to stop from crying too beautiful song and it has some really nice chord progressions and chords in them number eight jill scott prepared number nine jill scott so in love number 10 jill scott rolling hills number 11 last but not least the roots break you off. Now, you probably notice there's a lot of Jill Scott songs in there because these are some good songs. And again, I pull them all off of sheet music, professional sheet music. The majority of the people that would try to do this, these songs by ear, they're going to probably fail miserably because there was some chords in there. It's like, oh, okay, I definitely got to pull the sheet music down because I can probably find something that works, but I'm like, I want to do her songs just as I want to play them. They're just the way that they were played on the recording and the sheet music is accurate to the recording. So that's why I picked so many of her songs because I had access to the professional sheet music, chord for chord, no substitutions, no, I'm guessing on this chord or no, this works, but it's not what it's on the radio, on the song. So every single song here. Has been pulled down and the chords are absolutely a hundred percent correct. Again, it's not me guessing and tabbing, it's from the sheet music. So, like I said, it's only $22 download. You know, if I were to tab these songs individually for anybody, because I have a tabbing service, $15 a song, two song minimum, that's 11 songs times 100, 11 songs times oh, 11 songs times $15, that's $165. But you get this $22. These have never been on posted on YouTube and they'll never be posted on YouTube. So you will never find them here on my channel. So if you're interested in purchasing these, because you know me, uh, you know, when you get your pay, when you send your payment, you get your download quickly, you know, within, I say, a couple of hours. So there it is. Brand new DVD bundle number 30. The Soul Collection consists of 11 songs. That's two dollars a song per lesson for only twenty-two dollars. Send your PayPal. My PayPal information is right down here. Once you submit payment, you know you'll get your you get your uh, you get your bundle today. So I'm going to sign off. You know the reason why I'm able to play so many songs because I played so many songs, and what I mean by that is the more songs you play, the better you become. The more styles you play the better understanding you have for each style of format. And it's not that difficult for you to learn these songs and not struggle through them. And at, and at the same time, you learn the structure of song, you know, because I give you the breakdown of uh, doing the verse. I have it up there in, in the, in the uh, up in the corner, it says verse, so you see those chords. Then if there's a change, B section, you see those chords. And then there's the hook, you see those chords. So it's dissected into to section, you know, verse, B section or whatever, if there's a B section hook, then there's a bridge. You know, I show you the bridge. So there's another one I think I was missing. Yep, it's not on here, but actually, let me make sure. Ooh, okay, I think it is. Because there was one that was Jill Scott featuring Anthony Hamilton. So in love. So actually, it's 12. I didn't write. Okay, I did write that in. Number nine, just got so in love featuring Anthony Hamilton. Okay, so again, DVD bundle, brand new DVD bundle, number 30, The Soul Collection, 11 songs, $22 download. And download only. Uh, if for some reason you want a hard copy, it's actually going to cost you about seven extra dollars because I've uh, got to put it on a blank DVD, which are not free. Then I got to mail it. 
which is not going to be free. And I send my, all my stuff priority mail with tracking. So if you want to go that route for some reason of you have an issue with the download, you know, you can have the hard copy or should I say the DVD, but I strongly just recommend you go with the download. Here's another important thing that you need to know. Once I send you the download, as soon as I send you the download, please save these songs to your computer. Don't wait three or four, five, six, seven days because what has to happen is once I send you those, I give you a 24 hour allowance to download it because after 24 hours, I have to delete the emails so the link won't be any more good. And the reason why I have to do that because of this free up memory on my PC, because if I just keep sending them and don't delete them at some point, I won't be able to send them because my memory thing will be full. So every 24 hours, I do a clean sweep. I, I delete everything off of, of off of the link, the Google link uh, to anticipate the new orders coming in so I can send them to you. So please, please, please. Please save them when you get them. Save them within the course of the day that you got them. You know, if you get them today, save them today. If you get them tomorrow, save them tomorrow. You know, so please don't wait till four, five, six days because when you, and you go back to look at this from your in your email, it's gonna be gone. You won't be able to access it, and that's the reason why I have to delete every twenty four hours to clean up uh, the memory to clear up free up memory again. So until next time, take care. Thanks for watching.